Welcome to day number 28 in your Building Strength for Life program. So today's session is the end of week four. So this marks the end of week four. Little time for a bit of reflection on how far you've come. So we're gonna be working into some light stretches and mobility work down onto the mat. And as we do that, I'm gonna be guiding you through some reflections and some gratitude as we go through that today. So all you need is a mat or a soft surface or somewhere where you feel comfortable. If you'd prefer not to stretch today or do your own series of stretches instead, that's absolutely fine by me. Do what you're comfortable with, but follow me along as we reflect together on how far you've come. So we're gonna start down onto the mat for this specific set of exercises. But like I said in the intro, if you would prefer to do your own type of exercises, whether they're seated, standing, or any other routine that you like to have, then feel free to do those and just join in when we come to do some of the uh, mindful work that we're gonna do today. So first thing to do is to come into your lying position arms stretched out into a t-shape knees up and then bring the knees down to the side bring them up and then the other side and up now if you don't have a lot of space you can put your fingertips onto temples just like I'm doing here and you don't have to touch the ground with your knees each time. If you wanna make this a little more challenging, you can straighten the legs out. So you can bring the legs down to the side. You can keep a little bend in the knee. You can completely straighten them. It's up to you about what you want to do here. This is your session. So you get to choose. And take a rest, well done. So we're gonna come up into a seated position. Okay, and you sit however you're feeling most comfortable. I like to sit in this position here, get a nice stretch out into the hips. I can open up into the chest and I like to stretch over and do a little mermaid stretch as well. But you can just come into a seated position, sitting up. And as I'm doing this mermaid stretch, I'm gonna to start to think about some deep breaths. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. And I'm gonna switch sides on my stretch. But again, if you want to do this lying, then you can. I like to rise up with the breath. What I'd like you to do with the breathing now at this point is start to push away anything else that's going on in the background. And I want you to start to focus on you. So if you've been doing the stretching with me, you can sit in a relaxed position, you can lie onto the floor, and while you're here, just taking a little, just a little break. So I want you to reflect on your achievements so far. Now, I'm gonna choose to focus on achievements during this program, but of course you don't have to do that. You can reflect on achievements that you've had in other aspects of your life. But I'm gonna talk about kind of achievements that you've, ref you've managed to achieve in this program specifically. So what kind of challenges did you face? Just have a think about the kind of challenges that you faced coming through this program. We're nearly at the end of week four now. This is the last day in week four. So what did you have to do to make these sessions work for you? Did you have to be flexible with your time? Did it take longer than maybe you anticipated? Did you have to work out at different times of the day that what you were expecting? Did you have much less time than you thought? Did you actually have more time and then you were procrastinating? What were the challenges that you were facing? And while you're thinking about that, is I want you to start to think about what kind of things you have learned about yourself from doing this program. So what strengths have you found? Have you found physical strengths, mental strength? Did you ever think that you were not a planner, but you managed to plan in those sessions? Did you think that you were really 
not great at sticking to things, but all of a sudden you did manage to stick to this session. And what was different about that? How come you could stick to it this time? What was different? What did you do? What did you learn about yourself about doing this, this whole set of series of exercises with me? So continue to think about that for as long as you would like to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring myself into a kneeling position, but you can do this from seated, either onto your mat or onto a chair. And I'm going to stretch out my chest. So I'm going to bring my hands behind and I'm going to stretch out my chest without pushing my head forwards. Stretch, bringing the arms up behind. Breathing, controlling the breath, continuing to reflect on what you've managed to do. Are you physically stronger now than you were at the beginning of this workout series? Relax that stretch. And again, one more time into that stretch if it feels good. Pushing the chest out, but not pushing out the head. Hold, just lengthen those chest muscles. It helps with that hunched over posture that we all suffer from in modern daily living. And take a rest, well done. Bring the hands in front. Round out the back now and drop the head and stretch through the upper back, easing out the tension. Again, from a kneeling or a seated position. And I want you to start to think about three things. It doesn't have to be three, but three things that you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be in respect of the program. It could be in any aspect of your life. Take a rest. Start the stretch again when you're ready. But three things you're grateful for. And dig a little deeper than my family, you know, my kids, my pets. Dig a little deeper. Make it about you. What are you grateful for? What have you done? What's those deeper things? We're all grateful for our friends and our families. Dig a little deeper. What are you grateful for? Well done. Okay, coming back, we're going to do some neck and shoulder rolls. So we're going to bring those shoulders back. Nice circles, bringing the shoulders up to ears. Again, seated, kneeling, standing for this. So shoulder rolls first. And then we're going to work into the neck. And thinking about the challenges you faced and the strengths that you discovered and the things that you're grateful for. Bringing the neck over, chin over to the shoulder. What are gonna be your future goals? What have you learned about yourself that you can implement going forwards? Could be something physical, take on a physical challenge. Could be something mental. Could be that you found that you could stick to a plan you never thought you could. So what does that mean for your business? What does that mean for your workplace? What does that mean for your personal development? And back to the shoulder rolls. So those future goals, because we've got three sessions left after today, with this being day 28. So what do you want for yourself in the future? Changing direction on those shoulder rolls. And I don't have the answers for you. And your answers may not be there. But just something to think about going forwards okay I just want you to lie down onto your mat and just let yourself exhale all of that tension imagine it evaporating 
out of your body upwards. And as that tension evaporates out of your body upwards, you can sink down into the mat even more. Those cares and the worries are leaving you now, even if just for a short period of time. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and with every exhale, sinking deeper, deeper into the mat. Thinking about the affirmations we did last week, what affirmation will you want to do right now? What feels relevant for you? with an affirmation today just in case you want one I am proud of my progress I am strong I am proud of my progress I am strong I am proud of my progress I am strong repeat as many times as you need to or want to and once you've found an affirmation that works for you repeat it multiple times a day to keep you focused keep you targeted on where you want to be and make your dreams become reality you can stay onto the map for as long as you like take the time that you've carved out for yourself to do this workout with me today and I will see you tomorrow for day number 29, one of the last days on our plan. Take care. Bye.